Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hoff Bourbon Explained video. Today we're going to take a look at the addition of rabbits in Hoff Bourbon version 1.2. But before that, this video is brought to you by Nuka Cola and Mark Bauer. Thank you for being farm barons. So in the 1.1 update, Hoff Bourbon introduced us to cats, and we all've always had chickens here on the farm. But now we also can have ourselves some rabbits. There's multiple ways to get rabbits to the farm. One of which is simply to buy them from the animal pen trigger right here. We have 100 rabbits can be in this pen. We can buy rabbit cubs for $20, female rabbits for $80, and male rabbits for $62. Now, what's important to know about rabbits is they have a gestation period of two months and a puberty period of eight months. So every other month after these rabbits reach eight months of age, they're going to be reproducing. Another way that we can get rabbits is to come over here to the animal dealer. And at the animal dealer, we're going to have to have a way of transporting the rabbits. And for that, we're going to use some small animal crates. So we're going to find those in the shop under objects. Small animal transport. We have the small animal transport crate for $85. We also have a pet carrier box and a cattle feed sack. All three of those are going to work to transport rabbits. Let's go ahead and get some females. We're going to be able to put 10 female rabbits into our crate at once. At that point in time, we're going to be able to transport that over to our farm. At the main farm, we can then take our rabbit crate, place it here in the trigger, and then unload those rabbits into the pen. And there they are. Right, just scurrying around. Now, as far as our animal requirements, Rabbits are going to require hay and lettuce or apples. So I have a small bale of hay here. We're going to take this over to the feed trigger. There we go. And then we're also going to take this crate of lettuce. Put it in the feed trigger. Now the feed trigger is has a total capacity of 500 liters. So by taking and putting this bale of hay here, we have in essence completely filled up our food trigger. So be very careful when you are putting food in here, but you do allow enough room for the second food source in order to get 100% effectiveness. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward a couple days, a couple months, and well, let's see what happens. It's been a few months and now we have had our first litter or batch of baby rabbits. We've now effectively doubled our rabbit population. As you can see, we now have 10 baby rabbit puppies, as they are listed here. And then we have our original 10 rabbit females. Our rabbit females are, again, going to be producing more baby rabbits every other month. And then our rabbit puppies, once they reach eight months of age, well, they're going to start producing rabbits every other month. And in the meantime... Our rabbit puppies have then produced four sets of rabbit puppies again. So suddenly now we have 40 sets of rabbits that are, yeah, 40 rabbits that are coming to maturity. So you can see over the course of a year, you are going to very quickly have an ever growing rabbit population. Now, what do you do with these rabbits once you have decided, I have enough? Well, right now, your only option is going to be to continue to use the small animal transport crate 
and to transport these back to the animal dealer the same way that we acquired these first 10 rabbits. That is, put them into the crate. Take the crate, put it into your truck, put it into something, take it back to the dealer, and sell those rabbits. Now, that is not what was originally intended for the 1.2 update. And there is a little bit of remnants left around for what the original intent was. If we go to our prices screen, we're going to see that we have rabbit meat listed here. And you might think to yourself, oh, well, I'm supposed to be able to take this down to the butcher. Well, no, the butcher is currently not configured to accept rabbits. As you can see, the butcher is going to accept sheep, goats, poultry, beef, or pigs. And that is it. If we try to take these rabbits down to the butcher, he's not going to accept them. Well, that is because there was planned an original production right here, right beside the chicken coop. There was going to be a small butchering micro production, if you will, where we're going to be able to bring and unload one rabbit into a micro production area where we have a, a block and an axe. I'll leave it up to your imagination what we're going to get here. We're basically going to get a skinned rabbit out of that. We could also bring a chicken here. And, well, what we're going to get is a de-feathered and cleaned chicken basically ready for the pot. But there were issues with this in the beta testing, and it did not make it in the 1.2 update. But it does appear that under the prices screen, that entry for rabbit meat still remains as best as I can tell, there is no way to actually process rabbits into rabbit meat at the current juncture. So guys, let me know what your all's thoughts are down below with respect to the addition of rabbits. Again, they are going to take hay and lettuce or apples as far as their food sources. And, well, very quickly, I think you're going to find out that these rabbits produce just like rabbits. Until next time, happy farming.